Good morning. This is Justin with Elite. Just wanted to give you another look on the South Cargo buildings and the truck pass process. We're approaching the South Cargo buildings here. We're going to jump right into this. We're approaching the South Cargo buildings here. And as you can see, there's some signage down here on the right. We've had a lot of discussions about the direction and signage, letting the drivers know exactly where they need to uh, head as they approach the buildings. Because you can clearly see there's docks over there. So as a truck driver, you want to uh, pull up to the dock to get unloaded or loaded. But if you can see that signage right there, that directs you onward to the truck pass process which we're gonna head over there. Bear with me here, it's gonna be a little bit long, but I'll fill the video in with some details. So you have a building, uh, a, a and B basically, there's an A, B, and then there's a C, D. Uh, basically it's two buildings. Every airline that uh, has handler, handlers or handling agents within those buildings have to go through this truck process. So if you can see right here, there's some signs there that show you which direction you need to go to to enter the truck pass. We've been working with the Atlanta Airport Authority. We've been working with a handful of people in the community basically to enhance this process. Just like anything, you can always improve things. Um, generally speaking, it's, it's going well. So, in our conversation with them, we've explained the details of trying to get to the lot is a little bit challenging. Trying to get out of the lot into our locations is challenging at times, especially if you're not familiar with the process. As you can tell, as we approach here, there's a handful of cars up here. In the truck pass lot currently, you have the Uber trucks that also park in that lot. If you can see the signage, the signage up here shows us coming up to the truck pass parking lot. There's the do not enter sign right there. And as we go around this corner, you'll actually enter into the truck pass lot. And when you enter into there, you will have Uber parks behind us. So you'll have a lane for the Uber vehicles to pass by, and then you'll also have a lane for the actual truckers too enter in. You can see it's a little bit uh, tight in here right now. They're uh, in the process of widening this and doing some things potentially down the road. But you can see the signage that advises which way to go. You got ride chair to the right, you have trucks to the left. And it's interesting, you can see the trucks that are lined up in the lot. Currently, those facilities that use this truck pass only operate between the hours of hang on one second here between the hours of 6 a.m and 10 p.m and the average numbers of trucks that have been coming through this facility in the last couple months is about 8,500 trucks have been entering into this truck pass lot and you can see the lot over here as I was mentioning earlier, there's always an opportunity to improve the process, but if you take 8,500 trucks in a 30 day average month, and you have, what is there, 40 dock doors over there between both buildings, it's a lot of trucks moving through. When we come into the truck pass process, you have to uh, check into that guard shack that's down here. You can see it down here. We passed by it a second ago. You check in there and then they stage you here. And then once the facility either opens or a door becomes available, they will shuffle you through the process on over to the dock. And then once you're at the dock, if you're picking up, you start your paperwork process in the office. If you're dropping off, you start that process. And then you head out to the dock to actually physically either drop your freight or load your freight. We've had uh, some good success working with these guys and we're gonna continue to do so. We're fortunate enough to win 2017 Air Cargo Person of the Year. We also have had an article in voyageatlanta.com. I'll put all the links there. And if you want to find any additional information about us, 
I also have our website linked in here. Thank you and have a great day.